President Trump climbed into a truck, cab of a truck. <laughs> because by the end of the afternoon, guess who was in the driver's seat on the health care issue? Yeah. The person who I told you would be. The person who I told Chris Wallace would be by the end of the day. When I speak, it just comes to pass. <laughs> These people have not read Art of the Deal, and they haven't watched Schoolhouse Rock, and it's coming back to haunt them, and they don't get it. And President Trump, by the end of the day, the strategy had changed from, I'm going to meet everybody, I'm going to meet with all the divergent groups, all the people who are butthurt over the healthcare thing. I'm going to meet with everybody, try to sell this thing, blah, blah, blah. But then suddenly, boom, two o'clock comes. It's all yours. I'm done. No more talking. If it fails, too bad for you. I'm done. Now, there will still be people who are going to blame him. The media, mostly, because they're desperately waiting for a Trump presidency failure, but it's not going to be on him. It's and such a Trump move, right? Absolutely. Just for him to go, you know what? I'm tired. Yep. We've talked this thing to death. Figure it out. You right. will or you won't. I'm yep. out. I mean, it's very interesting to see someone with this level of power being who he is. You know, it's it's very interesting. When I saw him working as hard as he was to meet with all these groups, I knew exactly what was going on here. Yeah, you knew he was just going to call it and just go, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Right, Whatever. Because, because he knew it was flawed. Right. Uh, and, and not that he wanted it to, to die, but, but he did his best. And, and again, when you look at the Schoolhouse Rock reality, which is, uh, I'm just a bill, mm -hmm. I'm just a bill, bill. I'm yes, Capitol I'm Hill, bill. <laughs> and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. The president Love doesn't it. make laws, he doesn't pass legislation, and the media wants to, will we'll hang this on Trump if it fails, but the reality is we all know who's really responsible, and that would be the people who've been in D.C. As of 2010, and didn't lift a finger right. to to come up with any other ideas, and they came up with a sloppy one that might is imperiled right now. Of course, the media is going to hang everything on Trump. It oh, yeah. just makes me laugh out loud every day. The scathing, you know, little thumbnails that come up, and it's all just and nothing. You know, it's like it would kill them to really have to rally some positive energy toward him right now. You know. Yeah, you you know the River City Raiders if they ever lose a quarterback. <laughs> President Trump will come right you on know in. What? He probably would. There He'll be go. able to figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely. That's Katie Cruz with the River City Raiders, and what a great event this is. It's it's so much fun because, first of all, it's a small arena. It's indoor football, so it's a smaller field, right? Right, yeah. Like, we'd equate it. It's, it, we play it on a hockey field. Basically, like, like Kenny used the analogy in your show last night, if you're a fan of football and hockey, this is your thing. Because, it, you know, it's it's based on a 50-yard field, not a 100-yard field, and, you know, 25 yards wide. So, we, it, the action is just forced to be very fast-paced, and these are typically very high-scoring games, uh, which is really kind of cool because where's the excitement when your team's getting the touchdown or you know and it's just so back and forth it's a little bit of rugby 
Yeah, it is. A little bit of football. There's a lot of contact. Oh, yeah. It is football, you know. (laughs) I mean, these guys get out there and give it all they've got. And last year, for the first time, I think, in the history of indoor football in St. Louis, they went to the championship. We won it just by – we lost a couple of field goals and lost the championship. But, you know, it was uh, was really cool. I didn't realize that the fans that are are aware of this, their passion is pretty cool. You know, the energy is very high in that building. And I do fight hard MMA events at the Family Arena with the same organization – well, we've got seven, eight thousand people in the place, and the energy is 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 matched yeah. or even better at the football sometimes. And the players are really accessible. So after the game, uh, you allow people to like well, the the kids to go onto the field and yeah. they may mingle uh-huh. with the players Absolutely. afterwards and everything yeah. else. They'll line up. I don't, they'll, they'll line up a thousand people deep because once the players get showered and stuff, because you, you really want that to happen first. <laughs> yeah. Who <Ooh>, goodness? <laughs> They've walked by me sometimes. I'm like, yep, that's a football player. <laughs> Good night. Uh, but yeah, so they get all scrubbed up and then we uh, we open up the doors to, and they just get on and it's really fun. The kids are doing somersaults and cartwheels and flips mm-hmm. and just kind of, we just let them, let them do what kids do. Just have fun. And they yeah. get autographs from the players. And You know, it's a big deal to them. You know, when you're sure. five or six or seven, like these are stars, yeah. you know, yeah. it's it's like the, the biggest like celebrity they've probably ever met, you know, like if you call it that. But yeah, so it's really a neat yeah. experience. Well, tickets are completely free. Yeah. So if you just go to indoorraiders.com you can find out exactly how to get a hold of them and uh, and then you go in and you have leftover cash for the popcorn for the kids or whatever it is you want to get and a t-shirt or whatever but it's a great event you guys make it fun you make it exciting and I love the fact because I was telling Pippi this earlier because you mentioned the field goal and the championship thing she didn't believe me I'm like well um, the the uh, the kicker had planned a destination wedding. True story. Yeah, it just so happened During that his playoffs. destination wedding was the final, was the championship game. <laughs> uh, a guy named Corey, he's an excellent kicker. He plays for the Ambush and has played for them for his day. He's done soccer all his life, but he's an excellent football kicker. And so we had to throw like one of the other players who wasn't the kicker on the team <laughs> well, in there. Bless his heart. You want to talk about pressure. Uh, so yeah, because Corey, the jerk yeah. <laughs> decided to get married instead of play the game well, you know? what, i'm a dummy i'm like well it's i mean yeah your kicker's important but you've got somebody else that can do that job James yeah like, no believe it or not no. it was we the kicking points that we lost right but no that's just a that's just a mirror of how real uh the players are and how right. real it is as an event and it's just kind of like and the players are all kind of doing this for 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 the fun but they they're are. all in great shape and really great athletes and, we've and got, so we've got We've got pro guys. All the guys on the team are from St. Louis. Everyone, we decided to keep everyone local cool. because there's a lot of talent. I mean, you've got a guy on the team that used to play for the Dallas Cowboys. You've got, we had a guy last year who played for uh, for New York. You know, we've got, so you've got, you've got players on this roster that have got pro NFL experience. Right. And, you know, they bring that to the team and it really helps all the other players too. Katie so Cruz, cool. it's great to see you again. You too, Jamie. This I'm sure everybody awesome. all throughout the Emma's hallways are excited to I've see you I've had fun today, well. that's for sure. We I'm had a good glad. time, yeah. I love it. So check it out, IndoorRaiders.com, at IndoorRaiders on Twitter. And great to see you again. You too, Denise. Great to see you. you I too. just met your, your sweetheart here who's running your operations. That's great. So. Absolutely. And we've got another Katie in the back. I so met her she's, too. Yeah. She was so sweet. Right. Yeah. yeah. She met a, a radio legend. I don't know about that, but I was in the mm. hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Cruz, great to see you. IndoorRaiders.com, their game this Saturday at the Family Arena. Check it out.